Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the different servers in the Business Objects platform in a bit detail. So these are the important servers which we have in the Business Objects platform, which includes the Adaptive Server, which, in, which has the Job and the Processing Server, then the Connection Server, Crystal Reports, Dashboards, Webby Servers and the other servers. So let's go to the system and see how and when these servers are used so if I go here and go to the CMC and servers so if we go to the server list we will be able to see all the different servers which are available into the BO system so the servers they are the collections of services which are running under a SIA which is the server intelligence agent on a host so the type of server is denoted by the services running within it so the servers they can be created in the CMC and then let's see what are the purpose of each one of them. So the first one is the adaptive job server. A generic server that processes the scheduled jobs. So when you add a job server to the BI platform system, you can configure the job server to process the reports, documents, programs or publications and send the results to the different destinations. Then we have the adaptive processing server. So adaptive processing server is a generic server that hosts the services which are responsible for processing the request from a variety of sources. So the installation program installs one adaptive processing server per host system. Depending upon the features that you have installed, the APS may host a large number of services like monitoring service, life cycle management service, multidimensional analysis service, publishing service and others. After that, the next important server is the CMS that is the central management server. So what is the purpose of my central management server? So when it comes to the central management server so this is the most important server of my BI platform it maintains a database of information about your BI platform system and audited database and it has the user actions which the auditor is doing so all the platform services they are managed by the CMS CMS also controls the access to the system files where the documents are stored and the information on users, user groups, security levels and the other content. Then we have the connection server. So connection server it provides the database access to the data sources. It supports the relational dis uh, databases as well as the OLAP and the other formats. Connection server is responsible for handling the connection and interaction with the various data sources and providing a common feature set to the clients. Then we have the crystal report server. So first of all we have the crystal report processing server and then we have the crystal report application server and the cache server. So what is the purpose of the cache server? So it intercepts the report request sent from the client to the page server. If the cache server cannot fulfill the request with the cached report page, it passes the request to the crystal report processing server which runs the report and returns the result. The cache server then caches the report page for potential future use. Then we have the processing server. So the crystal report processing server it responds to the page request by processing the reports and generating the encapsulated page format pages. So the key benefit of EPF is that it supports the page on demand access. So only the requested pages return not the entire report. This improves the system performance and reduces the unnecessary network traffic for the large reports. Then we have the dashboard specific servers. First one is the dashboard cache server. So again it intercepts the report request sent from the clients to the dashboard server. If the cache server cannot fulfill the request with the cached report page, it passes it to the dashboard server which runs the report and returns the result. Cache server then caches the report page for the 
future use and then we have the dashboard processing server so again similar to the crystal report processing server dashboard processing server it responds to the dashboards request by processing the reports and generating the encapsulated page format pages then we have the event server event server it monitors the system for the events which can act as a trigger for a running a report so when you set up an event trigger the event server monitors the condition and notifies the cms that an event has occurred so the cms can then start any jobs that are set to run upon the event event server manages the file based events that occur in the storage tier then we have the file repository servers which are the input file repository and the output file repository so they are responsible for the creation of file system objects such as exported reports and imported files in non native formats and input file repository stores the report and program objects that have been published to the system by administrators or the end users whereas an output frs stores all the report instances which are generated by the job server then we have the web application container server so web application container server it is for the web applications only then we have the webby services so the first one is the webby processing server so it processes the sap business objects web intelligence document similarly we have the report application server which provides the ad hoc reporting capabilities that allows the users to create and modify the crystal reports via the crystal reports server embedded software development kit which is nothing but the sdk so these are the important servers which we have in the bo system so in this tutorial we discussed about the functionalities of each one of the server which are available in the bo platform thank you